Hello everyone, welcome to Study IQ IS English channel. My name is Shubham Sagar and today we'll talk about International Moon Day which is celebrated every year on July 20 and uh, this particular article published in Hindu on July 21, 2025, page number 18, Science 2. What is the controversy related to International Moon Day? We have to talk about that. Then if I, I don't know whether you can see it or not, we'll talk about it. This COPU means OS, Committee on Peaceful Uses of Outer Space. When was it created? In 1950s, after the launch of Sputnik. Why? To prevent a space war, so to say. Because, you know, in 1950s, communism versus capitalism, USS, USA versus USSR, Soviet Union, that whole tussle was going on. To avoid that tussle being, you know, going to space, this whole COPUOS was created. Now, let's talk about the controversy associated with International Moon Day. Then we'll solve some questions so that you can remember these things which you have, which we have just discussed. So, celebrated annually on July 20. It's not like this has been celebrated from last 20, 30 years. This whole thing, you can see here, it was officially recognized by UNGA in 2021 only. So, it's a recent phenomena. Why? Because there has been some controversy. What is the controversy? Whether we should celebrate International Moon Day on July 20 or July 21. Why? Again, and you will see the why. It commemorates the first human landing on the moon by Apollo 11 in 1969. There are some people who also don't believe in this whole moon landing thing. They feel like it's a hoax. What is your view on that? This article is not about that hoax, but if you have any view on that, that sir, no such moon landing happened. If they, because you may have heard about this. If such moon landing happened, why we are not going to moon again? What is your view on that? If this thing actually happened, so, I am not telling what's my view on it. What's your view on it? If this thing actually happened, why we are not going to moon now? What is the reason if we had sufficient technologies? So, again, let's come back to the issue related to International Moon Day and the controversy. So, officially recognized by UN in 2021. Based on a proposal from COPUOS, we have discussed it was formed in 1950s and why it was formed to prevent the space war between USA and USSR. And as the name suggests, Committee on Peaceful Uses of Outer Space, also to pre prevent the militarization of outer space. Now, goals of commemoration of this International Moon Day on July 20, not 21. Celebrates collective global progress, you can see here, encour encourages international cooperation, promotes sustainable space practices. Now, let's come to the issue. Why there is a controversy? Because see, according to UTC team timeline, UTC, 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 you can understand it with or synonymous with GMT, Greenwich Meridian Time, which is the reference frame, right? When we are talking about India, it is GMT plus 5 hour 30 minutes. So, according to GMT, this whole thing, international or moon landing happened in on July 21. And that's why many people believe it should be celebrated on July 21. The other controversy associated with International Moon Day is, we are celebrating US achievement. What was, like, what is international, what is their relate, like, international cooperation there? US was involved in this Apollo 11. So, it's more like we are celebrating US achievement. If you want to celebrate it as international achievement, celebrate it on July 21, which was the date according to GMT time. You will understand this. So, global activities, public events, blah, blah, blah. Now, this is the part which we are talking about. Criticism and debate. See the first point? Timing dispute. Armstrong first step occurred at 2.56 UTC on July 21. If we just do it Indian time, like Greenwich Meridian time or London time, it was 2.56. And that Greenwich Meridian time is the reference frame. We talk about US, let's say 4 hour 30 minutes behind because they have multiple time zone. So in US, in London or UTC or GMT, this happened, landing happened on July 21. According to US timing, most of the US timings, it was July 20 and that's why they celebrated on July 20. But if you want world to recognize it, let's recognize it on the international reference rather. Hope you are understanding where we are going with this. GMT is an international reference. Based on that, it is July 21. So, what is your view on this? Should we celebrate it on July 20 or 21? Because GMT timing, July 21. And if we convert it to IST Indian Standard Time, 5 or 30 minutes ahead. So, it will be around 8.26 a.m. in the morning. So, that is how these things vary. Many people are like, why we should celebrate it on July 21? It's US achievement. So, we'll go by US timing. And according to US timing, because it is minus GMT and UTC, 4 or 30 minutes, 5 or 30 minutes, they are multiple time zone. So, it is July 20, most of the US. So, that's why we are celebrating July 20 as International Moon Day. What is your view on that? The second point is, some argue that July 20 focuses on American achievement. If we are, if you are celebrating it based on American time zone, then it's American achievement. What is international about it? Why it is International Moon Day? Make it US Moon Day. 
potentially limiting the international inclusiveness. So, do you think if we celebrate it on July 21, it will encourage the this whole thing, international inclusiveness, or you feel like, no, sir, it's US achievement. So, obviously, it should be celebrated on July 20. What's your view on this? If you have any view, feel free to share it in the comment section. So, despite all these criticisms, July 20 remains the globally recognized day for celebrating humanity's first moon landing. So, remember these things, they are important from various exam perspective. Now, let's solve some questions so that you can remember it in a much easier manner. First MCQ, criticism associated with celebration date of International Moon Day. If you know it, know the answer, post it in the comment section. Second MCQ, India's time zone is offset from UTC by what? Multiple UPSC PYQs have been asked on this. You know, UTC, GMT, and they will give you the time. Japan, in Japan, this is the time. And Japan is these many hours ahead of GMT. What will be the time in India? Or what will be the time in, you know, London and this and that. So you have to be ready for this. You can solve those PYQs if you know the answer of this post it in the comment section. And if you feel like I contributed anything to your knowledge base, you can like, share, subscribe, subscribe. Oh, I'm stammering. And I can, and I will rather share this particular PDF along with the answer of these two MCQs in my Telegram channel, Fun Study with you because study should be fun. Awesome. And yes, sir, if you're preparing for 26, 27 or 28 UPSC batch of, you know, any like, year for UPSC, you can join our batch, our 2026, you know, a new batch is starting from 25th July, 2025, you can use my code SHS Live to get maximum discount, our like batch for 2027, July batch, admissions are closing on 31st, same for 2028 batch, 31st, and you have to start early to gain an advantage over others if you're preparing for 27, 28. Unlike, let's say, the institutions at, in ORN or Mukherjee Nagar, which are charging in large, means lakhs rather, we are not doing that. We are very, very, like you, you have just seen the batches, the, you know, the courses are starting at as low as 9, triple nine. And if you have watched my Hindu analysis at 9 a.m. and if you have watched our faculties teaching you on YouTube and others, you know what is our quality. So again, if you feel like there is any issue, you can join our batches. You can go to studyiq.com. You can go to UPSC English and then view all courses. And on view all courses, 26, 27, 28, based on which year you're preparing for, you can join it. If you go to 26, and this is this is not the batch I'm talking about, this batch has already ended. The admissions have already closed on 20th. So you have to go here. This batch, starting on 25th July, you will go here, you will go to buy now, based on what are the things which you need, mentorship, main residential program. There are different variants. You can see the prices here. And for all of these, the prices will reduce by 7,000 if you apply my code SHS Live, which you can see here. 31 triple nine, 24 triple nine, 10 triple nine. If you have any queries, call on this number. Also, one more thing, which I want to tell you people. And uh, let's see, yeah. The other thing is, there is another batch which is going on, and this is an exclusive batch, IB ACIO batch. If you want to join this also, you can join it. Again, you can use my code SHS Live to get maximum discount. 4 triple nine is the price. And again, if you apply my promo code by clicking on add promo code, SHS Live, the prices will reduce by 2000. It will be 2999. Again, you can see the features and it's, you know, very, very less price. The prices will increase after 31st. So join at the earliest. Now, coming back to the issue, what's your view on this whole particular International Moon Day controversy? If you want to say anything in that regard, feel free to share it in the comment section along with the answer of those two MCQs. I will see you soon. Take care. Be blessed. Tata. Bye-bye.